वेलकम बैक ऑल द सीरियस एस्पिरेंट्स ऑफ गेट एन ई एस सी एग्जामिनेशन टू दिस पर्टिकुलर चैनल माई नेम इज सत्यजीत साहू एंड लेट एस सी दैट हु आर द सीरियस पार्टिसिपेंट्स द सीरियस एस्पिरेंट्स फॉर द अपकमिंग एग्जामिनेशन वेलकम विवेक वेलकम कार्तिके वेलकम अक्षय वेलकम हरीस वेलकम जूही रश्मिता अफ्ताब राजश्री निकी रश्मिता अगेन ओके एंड सूर्य प्रकाश एंड विजित सो वेलकम ऑल फूड इज पर्टिकुलर सेशन where we will be discussing what earth pressure we will be discussing earth pressure will be solving questions right we will be discussing earth pressure will solving questions and let us first go into what earth pressure and in earth pressure we'll see first active pressure so we are in lecture series champion series last two days we have taken lectures on geotech we have completed shear strength of soil yes and stability of slope both these lectures are available on our uh, youtube channel you can see those lectures right and today we'll be seeing what earth pressure we'll see what earth pressure so let us start without any further delay so let us start the lecture okay very good so earth pressure what is earth pressure first of all we'll see a retaining wall right suppose we have a retaining wall suppose we have a retaining wall like this okay i'll draw a retaining wall for you and this retaining wall will retain some soil right and this is known as what the backfill this soil in the retaining wall is known as what the backfill okay and this soil will exert some horizontal stress it will exert some horizontal stress and horizontal force on this retaining wall that is known as what the earth pressure and our aim is to find out that particular force or stress that particular force or stress right now there can be two types of stress acting on this wall when the wall is moving away yes when the wall is moving away something like this if the wall is moving away something like this and then at that time whatever is the stress or force on this wall by the backfill or the soil we known as what the active earth pressure so the stress acting on this particular wall when the wall is moving away so a for away a for what active earth pressure right so when the wall is moving away from the soil right the pressure is known as what that time known as what the active earth pressure the active earth pressure okay active earth pressure okay so we'll not go into derivation of the equation the derivation of the equation i have done before also so let us directly go into the equation how to find out the active earth pressure at a particular depth suppose at depth z okay suppose at depth z i am asking you suppose this is the depth z this is the depth z right at depth z i am asking you to find out what the active earth pressure how to find out very easy at depth z at depth z you find out the vertical stress you find out what the vertical stress or can say effective vertical stress or i can say effective stress okay so you find out what first the effective vertical stress right effective vertical stress so now we know that effective vertical stress is what if you don't know i will tell you it is the total stress it is what the total stress minus what the pore water pressure total stress minus the pore water pressure if it is submerged or water is present yes if it is not submerged i can say that pore water pressure will be zero right and total stress will be how much total stress will be simply total stress will be simply what the gamma into z right you can see at this depth and suppose soil has a unit weight of gamma it will be gamma into z right and if water is present then i can say gamma w into z u yes but if we suppose the u the water is not present then i can say that pore water pressure is zero yes you find out this effective vertical stress we'll see then when we will cover the topic okay once you get this once you get this i can say that the active earth pressure will be simply a coefficient ka into this vertical stress minus 2c root ka yes where c is your cohesion c is what c is your cohesion okay and ka is what is ka ka is your 1 minus sin phi by 1 plus sin phi 
in the earlier lectures we have seen phi and c right what was phi phi was the angle of internal friction and c is the cohesion right so ka which is also what the coefficient of earth pressure it is what the coefficient of earth pressure okay and it is which earth pressure this is active earth pressure right so active earth pressure ka is 1 minus sin phi by 1 plus sin phi understood very easy very easy okay so this is the formula for finding what the active earth pressure at any depth right now what happens good evening hanip what happens if the cohesion is zero in the earlier equation so first of all we'll see what cohesion less soil cohesion less soil if the cohesion is zero if the cohesion is zero then what will happen to the equation i can say this term will become zero right and i can say that the active earth pressure or stress or the horizontal stress the active earth pressure is the horizontal stress right acting on the wall that will become how much that will become how much ka into the vertical stress that's it very simple that's it okay so this is the way we find out what the active earth pressure the active earth pressure i will find out okay but in the examination they don't ask only find out the active earth pressure what they ask they ask they will ask you the active earth force they will ask what they will ask the active earth force that how much force is acting how to find out the force if you have the stress distribution the area of the stress distribution gives me what the force right yes remember this fact that the area of area of your stress or pressure distribution right the area of your stress or pressure distribution stress or pressure distribution gives me what but it gives me it gives me the total force it gives me what total force so suppose i am giving a small example small example we'll solve we'll solve a question and understand it we'll solve a question and understand it okay suppose the question number 1 first we'll start with a very basic question okay so don't worry that sir why sir is solving easy questions i'll go into complicated ones also i'll go into complicated ones but first we'll start with what easy questions okay so first you can see that it is a soil layer is given you know backfill is given okay this retaining wall and you can see that 6 meter is the height of the wall and you can see the phi is given 28 degree and gamma is given 18 kilo newton per meter cube and we have to find out what the total thrust or i can say total thrust means what total force yes i am asked what total active force total active force now in this books and many prominent coaching institutes they give lot of formulas but my method is very simple we don't go for formulas we'll see very simple formula we'll not uh, we'll not remember too many formulas we'll use only one formula and then use our brains which we have yes so now how to solve this very easy first of all you see this is the ground level or i can say the top of the backfill right now what will be the vertical stress here tell me what will be the vertical stress at top tell me what will be the vertical stress at top what will be the vertical stress at top please write in the comment section zero yes it will be zero yes the vertical stress at top will be zero very easy now what will be the vertical stress at the bottom the vertical stress at bottom will be simply gamma into z right you can see here the depth is 6 meter so here it will be how much it will be simply gamma into z or i can say how much 18 into 6 that is how much 108 that is 108 so first step will be to find out what the vertical stresses the first step is what to find out vertical stresses at top the vertical stress is how much zero at top the vertical stress is zero at bottom it is 108 easy easy there is no water therefore pore water pressure is i am not considering pore water pressure i am not considering pore water pressure now go to the equation it's given cohesion less soil so i can say that the active earth pressure will be how much it will be simply what ka into vertical stress yes ka into vertical stress now what will be the ka the ka value will be 1 minus sin phi which is 28 degree 1 minus 28 degree by 1 plus sin 28 degree. So how much K I am getting? Let us find out first. So 1 minus sin 28, okay, divided by 1 
plus sin 28. Okay. So I'm getting a value of 0.361. Hope you also are getting the same value. Are you getting the same value? 0.361. You also solve with me. I request all the students who are attending this lecture. Please don't see it as a movie. Yes. Bring your pen and paper. Sit with your calculator and then solve with me. Okay. Solve with me. Okay. Then you'll understand the lecture. You'll enjoy the lecture also. Okay. So Ka is equal to 0.361. K is 0.361. Very good. Now, when I find out the earth pressure at top, the vertical stress is zero. So I can say the earth pressure is zero there. So here I can say the earth pressure is zero. Active earth pressure is zero. Now at the bottom, at the bottom, the active earth pressure will be how much? Ka into vertical stress, which is 108. So how much I'm getting? I'm getting a value of 0.361 into 108. Okay, 108. You keep on solving and keep on writing all the answers in the comment section. Okay, like vertical stress, uh, earth pressure, you keep on writing. Then you will be active in the class, right? Then you will be active in the class. Okay, so I'm getting how much? I'm getting almost, I can say 39 I'm getting, right? Almost I'm getting how much? I'm getting almost 39. Okay, so if I draw the distribution, okay, no need to remember any formula, only remember this formula. Only remember this formula. So if I draw a distribution, yes, the distribution will be something like this. It will be linear. Why? Because you can see that the stress is varying linearly. At the top, it is 0, right? At the bottom, it is 39, yes. So I will get a linear distribution. I will get a linear distribution like this. Very easy. Now see, this is 6 meter. And this we got 39 kilonewton per meter square. So if I want to find out the total force, total force, okay, the total active force will be equal to simply area of this distribution, okay, area of this distribution. So very easy, yes, very easy. I can say the total force will be equal to half, it's a triangle, so half base into height, half base into height. So how much I'm getting? I'm getting a value of almost, I can say 117 kilonewton per meter. I'm getting how much? 117 kilonewton per meter. Why I'm getting per meter? Because you see this is kilonewton per meter square and this is meter. If you multiply get in what? Kilonewton per meter or I can say this is the force acting on the wall per unit length of the wall or per meter length of the wall. Right? Understood? So this is the way we find out what? The total earth pressure. Force. Very easy. Very easy. So this you can say is due to soil, it's due to soil, yes. There can be other factors also like water and surcharge. If the water is there or the surcharge is there, how the things will change, let us understand that, okay, let us understand. That. Suppose we have the retaining wall here only, same, same retaining wall I will draw here, okay, same retaining wall I will draw here, okay, yes, and suppose I am telling that now it is submerged. It is what? Submerged. The water table is over here, suppose. The water table is over here, suppose. Now, earlier it was gamma is equal to 18. Yes, because it was not saturated. Now it is, you know, water is there. I can say, suppose, that it is 6 meter. And I can say gamma is gamma saturated is equal to 20 kilonewton per meter cube. Suppose this data is given to us. Data is given to us. Right? Ka we have already got. That is how much? Point. 361.361. Now, when I'm finding the vertical stress, when I'm finding the vertical stress, at the top, the vertical stress will still be zero. But at bottom, when I'm finding the vertical stress, I will not take the gamma, earlier gamma into 6. I will take what? Gamma submerged into 6. I will take what? Gamma submerged into 6. So what is the, the vertical stress here? Gamma submerged into the height 6. Gamma submerged will be how much? It will be 20 minus gamma W. Gamma saturated minus gamma W, I will get how much? I will get a value of 10.19. Yes. So this becomes 10.19 into 6. How much vertical stress I am getting? I will be getting a vertical stress of, people have found out also very good, 10.19 into 6. I am getting a value of 61.14. I am getting how much? 61.14. Very good. So first step always is to find out what? The vertical stress. Now once you find out the vertical stress, you know the equation, what? The earth pressure is equal to Ka into vertical stress. 
so at top again it is zero at top again it is zero but at bottom the earth pressure will be how much the earth pressure will become 61.14 into what into the ka that is 0.361 i'm getting how much 22.1 almost i'm getting how much 22.1 right so i can say the earth pressure has changed a bit yes the earth pressure and distribution has changed a bit due to the water table because the soil becomes saturated now when you are finding okay when you are finding what the vertical stress you have taken the pore water pressure and therefore it became what it became gamma submerged it become what gamma submerged right it become gamma submerged so distribution changes a bit because now you are taking gamma submerged in in place of what the earlier gamma very good very good now this is the distribution right at bottom it is 22.1 at top it is 0 at top it is 0 very nice very nice very nice very nice it is 6 meter now when i find out the total force when i find out the total force what will happen the total force will be equal to the area of the distribution how much half base into height Half base into height. How much I am getting? Twenty two point one into three. Almost I am getting sixty six point three. I am getting how much? Sixty six point three kilo newton per meter. But this is not the end. This is not the end. You see, this is the earth pressure only due to soil. Yes, only due to soil. But we have water also, right? In the earlier case, water was not there. Here water is there, so water pressure will also come into picture. Yes, and water pressure will be how much? It will be gamma W into the depth. So at top water pressure will be zero. At bottom what will be the water pressure? It will be simply gamma W into Z. That is how much? Six meter. Yes. So top it is zero. Yes. Bottom it will be gamma W into six. Nine point eight one into six. How much I am getting? Nine point eight one into six. Nine point eight one into six. I'm getting fifty eight point eight six. So I can say fifty eight point nine. I am getting. I'm getting how much? Fifty nine point nine. So this is a very important thing we should understand, right? Whenever they give you water, two changes will happen. Instead of gamma, you will use what? Gamma submerged while finding the effective stress, right? Okay, and then you have to take water pressure into into consideration, right? Water pressure into consideration, and this water pressure is nothing but what gamma W into Z. Now a very important thing. See, when you are finding this earth pressure, na, now finding the earth pressure, you are taking what K A into vertical stress, right? And this vertical stress was what gamma into Z, gamma of soil into Z, right? Yes, we are taking this. Very good. So this K A we are using only for due to soil. When you are taking due to water, na. Due to water, don't multiply K A. This K A is only the earth pressure due to soil. Due to water, don't multiply K A. Many students commit that mistake. Don't commit that mistake. It will be only gamma W into Z. Now you see, already we have got this much due to soil. Now due to water will be how much? No need to remember any equation. Just take the area of this distribution. What will be the area of this? The area will be half base into height. Half base into height. So how much I am getting this? Six in by divided three three into fifty eight point nine. I am getting a value of one seventy six point seven. I am getting this how much? One seventy six point seven. So I can say the total force. I can say what I can say about the total force. I can say the total earth force or earth pressure force or active force. Okay. Total active force. We have two components, right? One due to soil, I am getting how much? One due to soil, I am getting a value of how much we got earlier? How much we got? Sixty-six point three, right? Yes, we got sixty-six point three, and now we are getting one seventy-six point seven almost. So total, how much I am getting? Sixty-six point three. I am getting total value of two hundred forty-three. I am getting how much? Two hundred forty-three kilonewton per meter. So you can see that it is very easy. That what you do, you find out the vertical stress. Okay. You find out the vertical stress at a particular level, okay? You find out the particular stress at a particular level, vertical stress, 
and then multiply Ka to get what? The earth pressure distribution and then water pressure distribution, draw both the distribution and then take both the area and then total active force is done. Easy, easy. So we saw due to soil and we saw due to water. There's a third thing coming into picture. That is what? Due to surcharge. Due to surcharge. Okay. Due to surcharge. What happens due to surcharge? Let us just erase this and see what happens when we have surcharge. We'll see. So we saw due to earth and soil. We saw due to water. The last thing we'll see is what? Due to surcharge. What will happen when we have surcharge? Okay. What will happen when we have surcharge? So when we have surcharge, surcharge is indicated how? The surcharge is indicated like this, right? Q. The Q can be anything. It can be 10, 15, 20, anything, right? Now, if there is surcharge, yes, due to that, the vertical stress at any level will be equal to surcharge. Means that due to this, the stress here will be Q, here also Q, here also Q, here also Q, the vertical stress will be everywhere what? Q, 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 Q. Okay? Everywhere it will be Q. Yes? This is the stress increment due to the surcharge. Yes? So this is the vertical stress. And what was earth pressure? The earth pressure was Ka into vertical stress, right? The earth pressure was what? Ka into vertical stress. So this is your earth pressure, right? This is your earth pressure. Yes, this is your earth pressure. So now what I can say is that, now what I can say is that, due to surcharge, everywhere it is Q only. Vertical stress is Q only. So what will be the active earth pressure? The active earth pressure will be simply Ka into Q. Right? Everywhere it is Q from top to bottom. So I'll get a rectangular distribution like this. So I'll get what? I will get a rectangular distribution like this due to surcharge, right, due to surcharge and I can find out the force. I can find out the force. For example, in the previous question, suppose in the previous question along with the water, suppose in the previous question along with the water, right, surcharge is also given equal to 20 kilo Newton per meter square. So what will be this? This will be Ka into surcharge. So this will become how much? 0.361 into 20. Yes, that was the Ka, right? That was the Ka we got, right? 0.361. So Ka into 20. This will become how much? This will be 0.361 into 20, giving me how much? 7.22. 7.22. This become how much? 7.22. 7.22. Understood? This is 7.22 and this is 6. This is what? 6 meter, right? So I can say now, if I want to find out the force, Due to surcharge, this will be this area. This area will be how much? 6 into 7.22. How much I will get? How much I will get? 6 into 7.22. I am getting 43.32 kilo Newton per meter. Right? So, I will combine all to get the total force. Right? I will combine all to get the total force. The total force will be equal to the total active force will be equal to, due to soil, how much we got? 66.3. And then due to water, how much we got? Please mention that. And this we got 43.32 due to, I think, 243 minus 66.3. I got 176.7. Yes. So due to water, I got, this is due to water. How we got, that also we understood due to water. Yes. This we understood due to soil and this we understood due to surcharge right due to surcharge surcharge very easy right surcharge very easy just take ka into q uniform top to bottom right and due to water distribution is what simply gamma w into z and due to your soil it will be what ka into gamma into z if you are taking cohesionless soil so total how much i am getting the total force i am getting total force I am getting is your 286.3 kilo Newton per meter. Okay. So it's a very straightforward question, but yes, you understood the concept, right? Understood the concept. Very simple question, but you understood the concept. No need to remember any formula. Draw the distributions, take the area. Draw the distributions, take the area and understand some basic formula. Understand basic formula. Let us see another question. Question number two. 
See the earlier question what happened? Water table was still the ground level or I can say top of backfill. Yes, I can say the water table is here top of backfill. Yes, I can say it is fully submerged from top to bottom, right? Yes, it can be partially submerged also. It can be partially submerged also. Something like this. You can see this question here. There what? The soil is partially submerged, right? The soil is partially submerged. Yes. Why? You can see that this water table is not present. This water table is not present till top. It is not present till top. Right? It is present up to a particular height or depth. So what we will do here? We will draw the distributions. Okay? We will draw the pressure distributions and then take the area. Very easy. And this is what the surcharge given. The surcharge also given. Okay? And gamma W is given to us as 10 kilo Newton per meter cube. Okay? See, in the gate examination, if gamma W is not given, then default value you should take is 9.81. But if they give in the examination gamma value 10, they will take 10 only. Okay. So we just have a look on the question that if gamma W is given 10, then take 10. If 9.81, take 9.81. Nothing is given, take 9.81. Okay. Let us solve this question. Let us solve this question. So there will be three distributions, right? There will be three distributions. One due to soil, one due to water, and one due to one due to what? The surcharge. Three distributions will be there. Let us draw the distributions. For that, first of all, I will find out the vertical stress at different levels. See, phi is given as 30 degree. So what will be the Ka? Ka will be equal to 1 minus sine 30 by 1 plus sine 30. That is equal to 1 minus 0 0.5 divided by 1 plus 0 0.5. Giving me how much? giving me 1 by 3. So this is your K I got. Easy. I got my K. Okay. Very good. Now, vertical stress. How to find vertical stress? At this top, the vertical stress will be how much? 0. 0. Don't consider surcharge now. Without surcharge, find out. Surcharge just add at the end. Vertical stress is 0. Ignoring surcharge. Now, here vertical stress will be how much? Here at this level, the vertical stress will be simply what? 18 into 2 right? The depth is 2, gamma is 18. So 18 into 2 giving me how much? 36. The vertical stress at this level, 36. Very good. Now what is the vertical stress at this level at the bottom most? It will be C. Here it is gamma saturated. So gamma submerged will be how much? It will be 20 minus gamma W. Gamma W is given 10. So 20 minus 10 is 10. Okay. So now what is the vertical stress at bottom? It will be simply you see, it will be C. 18 into 2 plus 10 into 40. Summation of gamma z, right? Summation of gamma z. Vertical stress is what? Summation of gamma z. So, 18 into 2 plus 10 into 4. How much I am getting? I am getting a value of 76. I am getting how much? 76. Very good. After our section, Karthike. Very good. Very attentive with the class. Very good. 76 kilo Newton per meter square. Very good. Okay. So these are the vertical stresses I got. The first thing is to find out vertical stress. First thing is to find out vertical stress. Now, what about the earth pressure? Earth pressure due to soil. Okay. That equation is what? That equation is Ka into vertical stress. Now at top, at top you can clearly see that the vertical stress is zero. So I can say the earth pressure will be zero here. Here the earth pressure is zero. Now at this level, there are three levels, okay? I will be seeing three critical points, right? One at the top, one at the bottom, another one where? Another one is where there is water table. So at this point, what will be the earth pressure? It will be vertical stress, that is 36 into 1 by 3, Ka into vertical stress. So it will become how much? Here it will become your 12th. How much? 12. 36 into 1 by 3. Ka into vertical stress become what? 12. And at bottom, at bottom what will be the earth pressure? What will be the earth pressure at bottom? At bottom the earth pressure will be 1 by 3 Ka into vertical stress. Vertical stress is 76. 76 into 1 by 3. So 76 divided by 3. I am getting 25.33. I am getting how much? 25.33. So these are what? The earth pressure at different levels. Now see, 
here the gamma is 18 here the gamma is 10 yes there is difference in gamma that means there will be change in slope of the distribution right so it will look something like this it will look something like this yes it will look something like this Yes, the distribution will look something like this because there is change in the slope or I will just change like this, you see. Okay, I'll draw with hands. <laughs> Better to draw by hands. You see, <laughs> better. <laughs> yes, so I'll get a distribution like this. Yes, I get a distribution like this. It is 12 here. And here it is how much? 25.33. 25.33. Everybody understood how I draw the distribution of earth pressure due to soil. This is due to soil. Na? How I draw due to soil, everybody understood or not? Tell me yes or no. Due to soil, everybody understood or not? How to draw? How to draw? Easy. Just take the vertical stress, multiply K. Take vertical stress, multiply K. Yes. Now next is due to water. Now see water table is here. Yes. So the distribution will start from here. Right. The distribution will start from here. Yes. At top it will be 0. At water table it is 0. Right. And then at bottom it will be how much? It will be equal to gamma W into this height. Na? And this height is how much? This height is 4 meter. You see. This height is 4 meter. So it will be gamma W which is 10. 10 into 4 giving me how much? 40. Give me how much? 40. So here the water pressure is 40. Gamma W into Z. And Z you have to take from the water table not from the ground level. See if the water table is at ground level then I will take from ground level. But actually the Z is from where? The Z is from the water table. Top of water table. So 40. And this height will be 4. Very good. So we draw the distribution due to soil and then due to water, due to water. There is surcharge also, we'll see that later. The surcharge also, we'll see that later. Now, first of all, if I want to find out total force, then I have to get these areas, right? I will just get these areas. No need to remember any equation. Once you draw the distribution, you just get the area. So I can say the total force will be Suppose you can see there are three areas. This is the first area you can say. There are three areas. Suppose the first area is a triangle. It's a trapezoid and this is another triangle. Right? So I can say that the total force for the first triangle, you see, this is 12. And this is how much? This is 2. So I can say half 2 into 12. Yes? Now second one is how much? Second one you can see is a trapezoid. Yes? Yes? Trapezoid. What trapezoid exactly? You suppose I take a parallelogram. I take a parallelogram. Trapezoid also I can take. Yes. It is what? How to find out in this case? In this case, the area will be half sum of the parallel sides into the height. So half sum of the parallel sides will be how much? 12 plus 25.33, 37.33 into what? The height is 4 meter. Now the last one. The last one will be a triangle. So half base into height. Now don't don't add now. Don't add now. The surcharge is remaining. The surcharge is remaining, right? The surcharge is remaining, right? The surcharge is remaining. Now, due to surcharge, due to surcharge, I told it will uniform distribution, right? Due to surcharge, this will be uniform distribution, right? From top to bottom, from top to bottom, I will get a uniform distribution. And what will be the value of this distribution? What will be the value of this distribution? Can you say? What will be the value of this distribution? Can you say? What the value of this earth pressure? Due to your surcharge, can anybody say? Due to surcharge, what will be the earth pressure? Don't tell the force. Earth pressure, simply Ka into Q. Simply Ka into Q. So this will become how much? This will become Ka into Q. Ka is 1 by 3. Q is 36. This becomes 12. This becomes 12, right? And this height total is 6 meter, na? This height total is 6 meter. Then what will be the area of this? The area of this distribution will be, it's a rectangular. So, your 12 into 6, right? Yes, giving me 72. 
now you can easily calculate you see no need to have you know any big formulas so 12 plus this will be 74.67 and this will be 80 right and this will be 72 so how much i'm getting total one kartika found out let me see that you're finding correct or not 238.67 understood how we calculate the total active force right the total active force the total active force is how much is equal to 238.67 kilonewton per meter very easy there are three things surcharge k into q water table gamma w into z yes and then due to soil it will be what simply k into vertical stress draw the distributions correctly and take the area that's it draw the distributions correctly and they take the area very easy okay that was the question number two let us go to question number three in question number three we'll study another concept which is asked a lot in the gate exam when there is what change in the soil layer means what the phi is changing if the phi is changing then what to do okay you can see there is no water here only soil is there surcharge is not there so we'll find only due to soil but you see the phi is changing if the phi is changing we have two multi layers yes we have multi layer what to do the we can say the trick to solve this type of question not i can say trick i can say the concept behind solving this type of question is in this type of question take the two layers differently okay take the two layers differently find out the stress distribution take the area you will get the force now first step is what tell me what is the first step what is the first step you tell me what is the first step here whenever we are finding due to soil what is the first step we'll do please write in the comment section what is the first step we will do tell me what is the first step we will do find the vertical stress yes First thing is to find out the vertical stress. Very good, students. Very good. That means you are attentive in the class, right? That means you are all are attentive in the class. Very good. To solve these kind of questions, first step is to find out the vertical stress. That means you all are serious gate aspirant, right? That means you all are serious gate aspirant because you are preparing for the examination seriously. You are attending the classes and then you are attentive in the class also right attending and attentive there are two things one thing is attending the class another thing is what to be attentive in the class and you're attentive so you will get good results in the future so here the vertical stress will be zero it is the top right okay now here the vertical stress will be how much simply 17 into 3.5 simply how much 17 into 3.5 17 into 3.5 gives me how much 59.5 give me how much 59.5 and here bottom how much i will get 17 into 3.5 plus 19 into 4.5 right 17 into 3.5 plus 19 into 4.5 i'm getting how much 145 i'm getting how much 145 kilo newton per sorry, kilo newton per meter square units we'll see later kilo newton per meter square so everybody got the everybody got the vertical stress the next step is to find out what the ka the next step is to find out ka now there are two ka's because you see there are two soil layers two ka's for the top ka is how much it is given 30 degree so 1 minus sin 30 1 plus sin 30 it will be how much 1 by 3 for the bottom what will be the ka the ka will be 1 minus sin 25 by 1 plus sin 25 right so 1 minus sin 25 divided by what 1 plus sin 25 how much will get this 1 minus sin 25 okay divided by 1 plus sin 25 i'm getting almost 0.366 i'm getting how much 0.367 around right oh no oh, sorry we're getting 0 0.405 let me three check 1 minus sin 25 okay divided by 1 plus sin 25 oh i'm getting 0 0.405 okay sorry we're getting how much we're getting 0 0.405 0 0.405 okay now draw the draw the stress distribution separately for top layer and bottom layer for top layer bottom layer just draw them separately 
Now for the top layer, you will consider this Ka. Yes, for the top layer, you consider this Ka. So the earth pressure distribution will look how? It will look like this. Here the vertical stress is zero. So the pressure will be zero here. Here it will be how much? Here it will be Ka into vertical stress. Because we are seeing the first layer, so Ka into vertical stress. So 59.5 divide into or divide by 3. I'm getting a value of 19.83. Here I'm getting how much? 19.83. So I will get a distribution something like this. Understood how I am getting this distribution? How I am getting this distribution? Understood everyone? Okay. Understood how I am getting this distribution? Very easy. Okay. So equation is what? Earth pressure equation is what? Simply Ka into vertical stress. K A into vertical stress. So K A is this, vertical stress is this, so 0. K A is this, vertical stress is this. I'm getting how much? 19.83. So this is for the top soil. Now let's see for the bottom soil. When you see the bottom soil, don't see the top soil now. <laughs> is the bottom soil, don't see the top soil. For the bottom soil now, for the bottom soil now, K A is this. So you will use this K A. You will use this K A now. So now for the bottom layer, for the bottom layer, okay, at this point, the vertical stress is how much? 59.5. So the earth pressure will be how much? 59.5 into 0 0.405. Why? Because I am seeing the second layer. I am seeing the second layer. So I'll use the Ka of second layer. Understood? So here it will be how much? Here it will be 59.5 into point four zero five. Understood everyone? Yes. See when you are seeing the second layer. Yes. You have to use the Ka of second layer. But at this level, this 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 interface is common to both na. So at this interface, vertical stress is 59.5. But when you are finding the earth pressure in the top soil, we used 1 by 3. In the bottom soil, I used 0 .404, 0 0.405. Sorry. Yes. So the vertical stress is same, but the Ka are different. So I'll get different what? Your earth pressure. This will be how much I'm getting? This I'm getting is 24.09. I'm getting how much? 24.09 24.1 I can take for simplification of calculation, right? Now, at this level, at the bottom, how much I will get? Tell me. At the bottom, how much I will get? Tell me. At the bottom, how much I will get? At the bottom, how much I will get? Tell me. The vertical stress is 145. Ka is 0.405. So I'll get 145 into 0.405. I'll get a value of 58.725. Or 58.73 also I can take. 58.73 also I can take. I'll take how much? 58.73. Any doubt in drawing these distributions? Yes. Any doubt in drawing this distribution? There is no doubt in drawing these distributions. These things are very easy. These things are very easy. Okay, some people claim to be making them easy, but they make it complicated by equations. Okay, so it is very easy. Yes, so it is how much? This is equal to 58.73. Okay, again, I'm just using this equation. I draw, I found out the vertical stresses. And when I'm seeing the top soil, I'm seeing 1 by 3. Ka. When I am seeing bottom soil, I am taking the Ka as 0.405. Now I can easily find out total force, right? Now I can easily find out total force. Just take the area. For the first one, half base into height. First one, half base into height. Because it's a, because it's a triangle. Now bottom was a trapezoid. So half, the sum of parallel sides. Sum of parallel sides will be how much? 24.1 plus 58.73, I'm getting a value of 82.83. I'm getting a value of 82.83. Sum of parallel sides, sum of parallel sides into this height is how much? 4.5. So how much I'm getting total force? Tell me. How much I'm getting total force? Tell me. Easy question, you see. Easy question. Okay. No, 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 no need to be any you know, complicated and all. Just keep your mind very calm. Yes, 221.1 I'm getting. 221.1. I just recheck the values. 19.83 into 3.5 divided by 2. Okay, plus 
I can say 41.42 into 4.5. They are getting 221.1 kilonewton per meter I am getting. Okay, the meter just came on my top of my head. I think so. <laughs> yes, so understood how to solve the question. Okay, how to solve the question in case of what? Your layered soil. Understood? How to get the answer in the layered soil? Very easy. Find out the vertical stress, multiply with K. No need, hello, no need, absolutely no need to remember any complicated formulas. Only if you remember this, then you can solve many of the questions. Okay? So this thing we saw, very good. Now let us go to the question number 4. Okay? The question number 4. It is written in the previous question, find the percentage change in total active thrust. If a surcharge of 16 kN per meter square is placed on the top of backfill. Okay. You see we got the active force how much? The active force we got as 221.1 kN per meter we got. Now I am saying that if I am placing surcharge of 16 kN per meter square at the top of backfill, then how much it will increase? Yes, how to find out? See, due to surcharge, what is the stress distribution, earth pressure? That is Ka into Q, right? Yes, that is Ka into Q. So, if I see this soil condition here, yes, I am placing 16 kilonewton per meter square, right? I am placing what? 16 kilonewton per meter square. Yes, I am placing 16, na? Yes, 16 kilonewton per meter square. Let me just take the values. It is 16 or not? Yeah, 16, yes. I am placing 16. Now, the earth pressure due to surcharge is Ka into Q and this is Q. But the Ka is different for both the layers, right? Yes. Here the Ka is how much? Here the Ka is your 1 by 3, whereas here the Ka is how much? We got here 0 0.405. The distribution also will be different, right? Here, I will get how much? What will be this value, right? What will be this value? Ka into Q. It will be 16 by 3, na? Ka is 1 by 3, 16 by 3 is what? 5.33, right? Here I'll get how much? 5.33. Yes, I'll get 5.33, right? And, but the bottom I will get some different distribution, right? At the bottom I'll get some different distribution. See, surcharge is same. But the Ka change, na? The Ka change, na? So I will get what? Different distribution. And what will be this value? What will be this value? This will be Ka into Q, but the Ka is changed to point 0.405. So I'll multiply that into your 16. I'll get a value of 6.48. I'll get a value of what? 6.48. So this is the distribution due to surcharge. You see, when we have two layer soil, the equation will remain Ka into Q only. But since there are two different layers, the Ka will be different. So I'll get a two different two rectangles, right? So if I want to find out due to surcharge, the force due to surcharge, then I will take this area. This area will be how much? 5.33 into 3.5, right? And that this area, this area will be how much? 6.48 and this height is how much? 4.5. This was 3.5. So how much force I am getting due to surcharge? Tell me how much I am getting. Let us find out. After first found out, let me just recheck. 5.33 into 3.5. Plus 6.48 into 4.5. I am getting 47.815. Very good students. Very good. So proud of you that you are studying at so night with sincerity. Keep on the good work. In next year, you will be in good place. I am absolutely sure that if you continue this thing for one year seriously without getting distracted, okay, without getting distracted, if you are studying for one year like this seriously, you will definitely get good results, okay. So 47.815 I am getting. So I can say earlier it was how much? 221.5. Right? Now, how much increase happened? The increase is how much? The increase is 47.815 due to surcharge, right? Due to surcharge. So due to surcharge, this is the increase. Okay? So the increase percentage will be how much? Very easy. The increase percentage will be equal to the increase divided by what? Divided by the original one, that is 221.5 without a surcharge into 100. So how much I am getting this value? Yes, 
47.815 divided by 221.1 into 100. I'm getting how much? 21.63%. I'm getting how much? 21.63%. So all these things belong to what? All these things belong to what? Your simply surcharge. Sorry, simply uh, cohesionless soil, right? We saw the active, okay, we saw the active pressure due to cohesionless soil. Is cohesionless we saw. So the active earth pressure we saw in cohesionless. And we solved all the type of question which they can ask in cohesionless. I solved almost all the type of questions, right? Let us go to cohesive soil. Let us go to cohesive soil. In cohesive soil, what, what will happen? In cohesive soil, what will happen? The cohesion will not be zero. Okay, we can call that C5 soils also in sub C5 also. See, when I'm saying cohesive soils, I'm not talking about purely cohesive because in purely cohesive, the phi also will be zero, right? I'm talking about what? Only the C5 soils. In the C5 soils, if I'm seeing, okay, if I'm seeing in C5 soils, I can say that, I can say that in this case, the earth pressure will be how much? It will be simply Ka into vertical stress minus 2C into root Ka. Okay, see when it was cohesion then what was happening? This equation was getting cancelled. This part was getting cancelled because C was 0. But since now the C is not 0, the C is not 0, I will get this equation also, this part also, right? So some things will change here. What will happen first of all, if I draw the stress distribution, if I draw the stress distribution, what will happen? Let us study. If I see the stress distribution, what will happen? Many of you know this, but still we will just revise it very fast. Okay, many of you know this, but we'll revise very fast because this lecture is also for revision. Okay, so what will happen at the top, the vertical stress is zero, right? At the top, the vertical stress is zero. So what will happen at the top, we will develop what? Negative earth pressure because vertical stress is zero, right? And bottom, what will happen? Bottom, the vertical stress will be gamma into Z, right? Or H. Yes, gamma into H. So here, the vertical, the earth pressure will be what? Ka into gamma H minus 2C root Ka. Yes. So here what happened? We got, we get, we're getting what? We're getting a negative earth pressure at the top when we have cohesive soil. So what will happen? The stress distribution will be something like this. The stress distribution will become something like this. This will be the stress distribution. You can see here we'll get positive earth pressure, but at the top, we'll get what? The negative earth pressure, right? And this value is minus 2C root Ka. Yes. And this value is Ka into gamma H minus 2C root Ka. Yes. And till the depth where I'm getting the negative earth pressure is known as what? The depth of tension cracks. Because there is negative earth pressure. There is negative earth pressure, right? Therefore, there will be tension and there will be tension cracks, right? There will be tension cracks developed like this, right? Tension crack developed like this. And this depth is known as what? Z0, yes? And I can say this is what? The depth of tension cracks. So it means what? The depth of tension crack. Now many of you remember the equation, but we'll just derive it very fast. The depth of tension cracks, okay? Many of you know the equation, but we'll derive it very fast. How to derive? You can see at this depth, the earth pressure is zero now, you see? At this depth, Z0, the earth pressure is zero. We'll use this concept. If you're forgetting the formula also, now you can find out, right? I can say at Z0, the earth pressure is zero. And what is the earth pressure? Earth pressure is Ka into vertical stress minus 2C root Ka. And this becomes zero, right? The vertical stress at that particular depth will be how much? Gamma into Z. And here it is gamma into Z0, right? Minus 2C into root Ka. And this becomes equal to zero. So from here, what I can say? That Ka into gamma Z0 is equal to 2C root Ka. And I can say that the Z0 will be how much? It will be 2C root Ka divided by your gamma Ka. You see, this also get cancelled. I get this final expression. So if you're getting confused in these equations, na, if you're getting confused in this equation that what is the depth of tension crack getting confused, then simply do what? You know the equation of what? Your active earth pressure, just equate that to zero. Because there only the tension is, come. you know, I can say at Z0, what is happening? 
you see it is negative, 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 then it becomes zero. After that, it is positive. Yes. So I can say that at that particular depth, the earth pressure is zero. Very easy. So this expression we got. We got this expression. This is what? The depth of tension cracks. This is what the depth of tension cracks. Now what will happen? Interesting phenomenon happens. Let us understand that. Then we'll solve some questions also. An interesting phenomenon happens. Okay. You see here, what has happened is that the distribution is like this. What has happened is that the distribution is like this. Yes, the distribution is like this. Okay. Now you see here it is how much? Here it is minus 2c root k a. Okay. Here it is your k a into gamma h minus what? 2c root k a. Yes, easy. Okay. Now you see this is negative. If we take a symmetrical triangle like this, okay, symmetrical triangle like this, it will be positive. And at this depth, this pressure also will be 2c root k a, right? By symmetry, I can say, you can see, by symmetry, I can say, I will get two triangles, yes, two triangles, and I can say that here it is negative, here it is positive, right? So, this part of the stress distribution will cancel this part of the stress distribution, right? Yes, because they are symmetrical, the same, they'll cancel each other, and I can say there will be no earth pressure acting at this particular depth, right? acting in this particular depth that I will call as what the critical height this I will call as what the critical height I'll call this as what the critical height yes and this critical height will be how much you see by symmetry this is dead naught where the earth base is becoming zero so this also will be what z naught and this critical height is nothing but what 2 into z naught that is how much I can say z naught was 2c by gamma root k it becomes what 4c by gamma root k. I can say at this critical height, I need not provide any support. Why? Because the earth pressure are cancelling each other. So I can say critical height is what? It is the maximum unsupported. It is what? The maximum unsupported vertical cut. Why? Why maximum unsupported vertical cut? Because the earth pressures are cancelling each other. Easy, you have studied it before, but still I want to revise. Okay. When we revise, we revise everything, right? We don't revise random. Okay. Then we'll have khichdi. Okay. Okay. Very nice. Khichdi is good for eating, not for studying. <laughs> yeah. So 4C by gamma root K. Yes. Understood. Now, if I ask you, what is, tell me, what is earth pressure at Z0? Tell me. What is earth pressure at Z0? Tell me. At the depth of tension crack at Z0, what is the earth pressure? Tell me. I wrote the answer. Sorry. <laughs> what is the what is the earth pressure at Z0? You can see at Z0 the earth pressure is what? Zero. Yes, it is zero. So at Z0 the earth pressure is zero. Okay. Tell me earth pressure. Tell me earth pressure at critical height. Tell me earth pressure at critical height. Tell me. Come on. What is the earth pressure at critical height? Tell me. I'll have some water. What is the earth pressure at critical height? Zero, why it is zero? 2c root k, na? Are baba? At SC, we are seeing here, na? Earth pressure, not the force. It is 2c root k, a. Again, I will draw here. 
very important point you see if i draw the distribution till here till sc this is the distribution right this is the distribution right yes so you can see that here the earth pressure is zero right okay the earth pressure is zero here the earth pressure is how much it is 2c root k a right understood so i can say that at depth of hc at critical height at critical height it is what it is 2c root k very important point okay 2c root k now tell me what is the earth pressure at top what is the earth pressure at top of backfill what is the earth pressure at top of backfill tell me what is the earth pressure at top of backfill tell me minus 2c root k a looking what minus 2c root k understood minus 2c root k easy yes easy understood now everybody understood these distributions and how to find out z naught sc everything okay let us solve questions okay solve this question give me the answers give me the answer the first question second question third question please give me the answer first question depth of tension crack please give me the answer first answer at least find out the first answer No, no, calculator is there. Oh, understood. <laughs> okay, first answer is 9.602. Very good. You see, this answer is simply 2C by gamma root K A. It is what? 2C by gamma root K A yes so this will be equal to 2 into c is how much 20 divided by first of all what is root ka what is root ka here what is ka here tell me what is ka ka is 1 minus sin phi by 1 plus sin phi 1 minus sin phi by 1 plus sin phi so how much are getting this ka tell me how much are getting ka 1 minus sin 26, 1 minus sin 26 divided by 1 minus again sin 26. How much I am getting? 0.39. Okay. I am getting Ka 0.39. Okay. So put here, you see this very straightforward question. Actually, in this question, we are solving two questions, right? <laughs> we are solving two questions, right? So this is 2 into C is 20 divided by what? Gamma is your how much? Gamma is how much? Gamma is 20 again. Okay. Gamma is 6. Gamma. Okay. C is. Okay. C is 60 actually. And this is this. This is root 0.39. How many written? Let us see. I am getting 9.61 meter. Very good. So first answer we have got. Now the second answer. Second answer will be just the double now. Second answer will be just the double, na? yes, double, because we know this is SC, SC is what, 2 into Z naught, giving me how much, 19.22 meter. Now the last one, 
लास्ट वन इज वॉट इट इज टू सी रूट के ए ना आई जस्ट एक्सप्लेन टू यू सो दिस इज टू इन टू सी इज योर सिक्सटी एंड देन रूट के ए रूट के इज हाउ मच पॉइंट थ्री नाइन गिविंग मी हाउ मच दिस इज रूट पॉइंट थ्री नाइन ओके इन टू वन ट्वेंटी गिविंग मी ऑलमोस्ट सेवेंटी फोर पॉइंट नाइन फोर सेवेंटी फोर पॉइंट नाइन फोर किलो न्यूटन पर मीटर स्क्वायर अंडरस्टूड सो दिस वॉज द क्लास ऑन वर्ट वी स्टडीड मेनी थिंग्स वी सॉल्व मेनी थिंग्स ओके सो मोर होमवर्क फॉर यू होमवर्क फॉर यू सो होमवर्क इज दिस नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन येस दिस क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स इज होमवर्क ओके क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स इज होमवर्क ओके देन योर क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवन इज ऑल्सो होमवर्क ओके क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवन इज ऑल्सो होमवर्क ओके एंड देन क्वेश्चन नंबर एट इज ऑल्सो होमवर्क ओके सो लॉर्ड ऑफ होमवर्क राइट सो क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री होमवर्क्स नाइन इज ऑल्सो एन होमवर्क अनदर इंटरेस्टिंग क्वेश्चन आई हैव गिवन फॉर यू सो दिस इज एन ऑल्सो होमवर्क ओके फोर होमवर्क्स ओके एंड देन इफ यू आर फेसिंग एनी डिफिकल्टी इन सॉल्विंग दिस क्वेश्चन ओके यू कैन ऑलवेज गो टू द बाइजूस एग्जाम प्रैप ऑफिशियल एप ओके इन एप आई हैव टॉट ऑल दिस थिंग्स इन एप आई हैव टॉट ऑल दिस थिंग्स in your learn with video lessons in your learn with video lessons in geotechnical engineering you can go to your earth pressure yes you see everything i have taught all the active earth pressure then passive pressure press earth pressure at rest inclined back and back fill and then all the other theories also i have taught so if you face any difficulty in solving those questions the homework questions yes homework questions then what you do you visit the app you can see the lectures in the numerical sessions i have solved all those questions okay and even if you face any difficulty after that then you can contact me this is my number 8826726300 if you have any query that how to see this lecture or how to approach any particular subject i teach all the civil engineering subjects so you can all refer to this thank you very much bye bye and then i have given another homework question <laughs> so so many homeworks for you right so many homeworks for you you can practice all this question okay originally i plan to give only one homework question then i thought you need more homework questions right yes then i thought you need more homework questions okay and even if you face more difficulty okay in this particular youtube channel i have taught a lecture on what active earth pressure in cohesion less active earth pressure in cohesive okay you can visit that lecture and you can solve questions thank you very much bye bye please solve the homework